What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Christmas season thus far. Speaking of Christmas season, I have a look created for you. Got some pops of greens, gold on the eyes with some red tones on my lips. Super wearable, super easy. I think if you're going to a secret Santa or a white elephant, your grandmas, your uncles, wherever, I think that this is perfect for the Christmas festivities. It's in the spirit, you know, but it's not anything crazy it's not like this like all this green all over your eye with like red and just like colors clashing like no this is cute girl you are holiday bait in this look so if you guys are ready and you're settled in you're ready to hang out with me and get our makeup on together then just keep watching Okay, now that my hair is all up and did, I'm gonna take the Love is the Foundation brush. This brush is actually, it's limited edition, but it does come every single year using my NARS Reading Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Barcelona. This brush, as I was saying, it does come every October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I just love that. And it's actually a really nice brush for buffing in your foundation. And I decided to choose this foundation because, you know, if we're going out to the club or just celebrating the holidays in general you want a long wearing foundation you don't want your makeup to be looking worn off or kicky or anything like that and this is just perfect for that i actually know that this is super long wear because i wore it all throughout the day and i wore it into the night because we went out clubbing and let me tell you honey this whole thing stayed i was impressed and it still looked good and i think it has like a decent coverage because i've definitely been stressing lately this month as much as i love christmas i think everyone feels this way where like Christmas is such a beautiful time of the year, but at the same time, it's stressful. I love spending time with your family, but sometimes it's like, it's those conversations that get to me that are like, what's your plan? What's your five-year plan? What are you gonna do next? Like, what are you up to? And it's almost like, are you good enough? But it's like, of course, we're all good enough. We're always enough, but we're never too much. We are just right exactly how we are supposed to be. And to be honest, no one really has their their life together especially at 22 but we're just here plugging on living life and following the joy as cheesy as that sounds it's so important to follow the joy my friend cynthia actually told me that a little while back just to follow the joy because even if it's just going out to lunch with your friend or just spending time with your son or your daughter or just anything little like that it's all gonna add up to your life so would you rather be doing something that kills you or something that brings you alive you know what i mean so I think that's really important to remember whenever you're feeling like, oh, like, what am I doing with my life? I'm like, what could I be doing? And it's just like, just take baby steps. That's all you need to do. You don't always have to have everything completely together. And that's okay. So moving on into my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Creme Brulee, but I've actually been really really liking this concealer usually to me concealers are just like uh eh, whatever it's concealer you just conceal and brighten under your eyes and that's that but this one usually around this time of year especially in california the, dr the dry air just like sucks all the moisture out of my skin and my under eyes will look so dry and flaky and cakey and just not a good thing going on with this one, I was like really, really impressed when my under eyes were not dry and flaky and it wasn't creasing. And usually it's really hard and it's really inevitable to not crease with your concealer unless you're a baby because like everyone has little creases under there. It's just that is what it is. But with this one, I don't know. I may, you know what? It has hyaluronic acid, which is really good for locking in the moisture in your skin so maybe that's it i don't know but i'm using a morphe e4 brush to blend this all out and brows are done don't you wish it was that easy just like and your brows would just be done they would be snatched slayed sculpted everything goodness okay anyways going into this charlotte tilbury powder in medium two I always have a hard time opening that. I'm gonna take this M438. I'm just gonna set really quick under my eyes and wherever I put concealer. Okay, and then I'm actually going to take this Honest Beauty powder, the Invisible Blurring Loose Powder, and I'm gonna take that all over my nose and my T-zone just to really 
set everything in place. Don't want it budging. I'm gonna take, I know this is extra, but like, I'm gonna take this Alima Pure. This is a pressed powder foundation in the shade Cardamom. And I have a little situation going on right here. So I wanna put a little extra coverage. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna tap that over. Now that we're super powdered up and used like three different powders, you don't have to be extra like that. Moving on, I'm gonna take the same brush using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and just swell it in and I'm gonna tap into this area and place my bronzer right here. Something about bronzing my nose just gives me life. Just bronzer in general. I love the way bronzer looks after you have everything set in place. Okay, so now taking a fluffier brush. This is a 530. I'm gonna swirl and I'm gonna bronze right here here on my cheekbones around my temple and then just the tippy top of my forehead right here so speaking of christmas i tried to make it all christmas in here for you guys we're just in the christmas spirit over here because i love christmas season so much it's funny because like last year thinking about last year and, and where i was last year as a person like i know i have so much more to grow but it just i'm so thankful to just see the progress that I've gone through because like I actually journal a lot because it's very therapeutic for me and I think it helps me a lot and last year I was just in such a bad place where I just I had so much inner turmoil going on inside and it was really tough and so I had so many breakouts all the time I was getting sick like two three times a month like within that fall semester of my senior year I got sick like eight or nine times easy like I was just sick all the time and I was tired of it I was tired of feeling sick and like feeling stressed and anxious about different things that were going on and I think a lot of it just came from not living out my truth and I'm sure one day I will get into that story and all of that and why I had such a hard time last year and I was just breaking all over my all over my face like literally I had little bumps all over my forehead I had breakouts all over my cheeks and my chin and like it was just all over so I didn't understand like what I was doing I came to terms with the fact that I just need to live out my truth so that I can live peacefully because otherwise my body was just gonna keep reacting and it was gonna be showing on the outside how much I hurt on the inside and so I can't stress that enough like a lot of at least for me like a lot of skin issues like they stem from yourself from your soul and you have to take care of you on the inside so that you can take care of you on the outside like it's all interconnected I can't like I'm the most strong believer in all of that so I hope that you guys are in a good place during this Christmas season too because everyone deserves that and Merry Christmas by the way I haven't said that already, but I think we are pretty bronzed, like super bronzed. Let's move into highlight. So actually, I want to put blush on first. So I'm going to take my ColourPop. Oh, wait. Uh, should we see where the eye look is going first and then drop into blush? Maybe we should. Yeah, maybe we should. Let's go into the eye blush. You know gonna be taking the chocolate nail palette honestly this is like the only palette i ever want to use when i do my makeup i just love it so much so taking a m433 i'm gonna dab into actually taking my bronzer i'm gonna start off with that swell it in top and book my sister one time i was doing her makeup and i was like okay show me what you would do if you were doing a tutorial and she was like what what did she say she was like swirl tap pat or something like pat like just pat it in and i was like okay amanda mixing pot oh. <laughs> i haven't wore eyeliner in a long time what's the next step amanda next step brush tap pat always brush tap pat, brush, pat, pat. why are you putting all of the eyeliners on right now I gotta look good for the gym. She cracks me up so much. Uh, I wish that she was living here still sometimes so that we could live together, but I know that we would get on each other's nerves a lot. But honestly, we have so much fun. Me and my sister Therese do too. We all do. But like, if it was all three of us, imagine this household. It would be crazy. Anyways, I'm taking, I didn't even tell you what I'm doing. Uh, basically, you know, you already know. We all know we gotta lay down the crease colors before we do anything. We gotta lay down the foundation or base. So I'm just plopping that right into the crease. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna take like a bunch of different crease colors actually, because I just wanna build this eye look up. I'm gonna go into this mustardy yellow shade and this 
like warm brown and plop that right into the crease right on top and further blend everything out. Half my time is just spent blending out foundation, blending out bronzer, blending out concealer, my eyeshadow, just everything. Now that we have our creases going on, I'm going to tap into a deeper shade. It has like maroons in it and it has like brown tones in it. So I'm going to start right over here because I want to deposit most of the shadow right here. So I'm going to wiggle that back and forth and then start working my way into the inner corner. And then I'm going to bring that out just a little bit. All right. I'm going to take this darker medium brown. I'm going to tap into that and I'm going to place it on the outer V. This outer corner region right here. Just wiggling that into the crease. Bring it back down. Okay, so I'm going to take this Love in a Mist Facial Toner by Wild Care Herbals and I'm going to spritz my brush so that I can pick up this gold shade right here. I think it's called The Queen. It's like the only shade that I actually know the name of. So we're going to place it right here on the inner corner of the lid. Alright, so now that we have this gold shadow going on, I think I'm going to do a pop of green. So I'm going to take any de flat definer brush that looks like this. This one's shitty. I'm going to take this green shimmery shade right here and I'm going to combine it with this one. So first I'm going to do the darker green and I just want to pop that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the sparkly green right over top and blend those two together. Okay, now that we have that pop of color, I'm going to take a NYX liner in my waterline. It's just a gold liner. It's called, what is this? Slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. It's in glitzy gold. That is the longest name of my life. It's funny though because in parentheses it's like this, what does it say? This eyeliner is so good the name had to be long. Which actually this liner is actually really great for your waterline. That's mainly what I use this liner for is popping it in the waterline. So I'm also taking it kind of a little bit on my lash line as well. Just blending green and gold together. Okay, now that I have this eye makeup on, I can go in with my blush and I think I'm going to go in with this one. This is in the shade Rom-Com by Colourpop. Colourpop blushes to me are like super pigmented so you have to be really careful because you don't want to go overboard. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to go in with highlight. I'm going to use the same setting brush that I used earlier. I'm going to go into the I Love Sari Dose of Colors collab. This is in the shade Soulmate. You only need like just a little bit because it is powerful. Because like look at my cupid's belt. It's already like beaming but you can just blend it out with your fingers. Whenever I put on highlight, I just love connecting it from the brow bone and like on top of the brow to the tops of my cheekbones. Just think that it looks the best that way in a little C formation right here. So now that we have blush and highlight, let's set our face. So I'm just going to set my face with the same mist that I used earlier. And everything that I use, I'm going to be listing in the description box below. And if you guys don't have a nugget, because I know that not everyone's going to have a nugget nearby, everything can be found online. So while that sets, I'm going to line my lips. I think I want to, you know what we should do? We should do my favorite lip combo ever. It's been my favorite lip since September. I'm going to line my whole lip using the, I, let me tell you what this is first, the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner. It's in the shade Rich Chocolate and these types of lip liners are probably my favorite ones from the drugstore because they glide on so easily. Okay, so watch how easy this glides on. This is really, this should have been called the Slide On Glide On Pencil, honestly. Boom. It's so easy to work with and I love that this is something that you don't have to have a sharpener with because half the time I always forget where the heck my liner sharpener is and I can't find it and look at one day I found this out. It comes with a little sharpener on the end. How amazing is that? And you just have to roll it up if you don't want to sharpen it. So if you're looking for a liner, don't sleep on this. This is a really good liner and it's really affordable. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do, once it's all lined up and ready, I'm going to start filling in my entire lips with this color. All right, and then after that, I'm going to take the Milani lipstick in the shade Bahama Beige. I'm just going to pop that all over top. And this color is already so beautiful as is, but it looks even more juicier and beautiful with lip gloss over top. And I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline and just blend all of that together. And whenever I have like so many lip products on my lips, I like to wipe off the inside because otherwise it gets in your teeth. Not a cute look, but yes. Ugh, I really, really, really 
love 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 this lip color i just think that it compliments my skin and i feel like it would compliment anybody's skin like it's just such a pretty beautiful lip color now that her face is dry from our setting i want to curl my lashes and i'm gonna go in with this voluminous lash paradise primer and i didn't think i was gonna like this lash primer so much but i actually i don't know it just seems like eh, it's like it's a lash primer what else do you expect but I, I feel like I can't do my mascara without it now. It just adds a really nice volume. All right, so let's pop some of this on. At first, it looks kind of crazy because it's just white on your eyelashes. So you look like some type of ice queen. But if you let it dry down, it actually dries down and you can't really see it anymore. But usually, I just go straight in with a mascara. And I feel like it's okay to do that. To go straight in with mascara before letting it dry down. And then I'm going to go in with some L'Oreal Extra Collagen Mascara. All right, so my mascara is on, the face is set, the lips are popping. We are rocking and rolling into Christmas this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. This is everything that I wanted to share with you all. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And remember that you are beautiful in every which way. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>